I'm doing it. She's talked me into it, consequences or not. Not something that I expected to find in Nevada. I just rolled over 40,000 miles. I don't think I've ever boiled water on somebody's porch before. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. You know it got cold last night when it is 42 and it feels really warm. <laughs> uh, other news, cashmere might be my new favorite thing to sleep in. My merino wool, smart wool base layer, and then cashmere on top of it. It's my top half stayed nice and toasty last night. Of course, I have a zero degree down bag. I knew that it was gonna get below freezing tonight. But at no point was I so cold that I woke up, but it did take me a while to go to sleep. Cashmere for the win! Used cashmere, I didn't buy it brand new. I bought this off of Poshmark. Time to get up. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. Earplugs. We've got a day ahead of us, that's for sure. Alrighty, 300 miles to Elko, Nevada. at the field station here in Oregon. Made it here on fumes, but we made it. Filled up, it's always expensive to fill up here in fields. It's like 5.95 something a gallon right now, but it's also like the only gas for 70 some miles. And they have food. And I finally arrived here while the kitchen was open. So I ordered myself a egg and cheese sandwich. I'm very excited about that. I'm having a bit of a dilemma. I am so close to the Albert right now, and I, part of me wants to redeem myself from our earlier trip in May when we came and the Albert was flooded, so we couldn't ride on it. And I'm like, I'm here, I should just go do it. But it adds a whole extra like hour and a half to my ride today, <laughs> putting me at uh, my designated camp well after sunset. And I do like have to get someplace. Like I'm not just like out here like moseying around like I was in May. I do have to get somewhere at a certain time, you know. I need to be in Flagstaff, Arizona by Thursday morning. It is Monday. And I have a lot of stuff that I really want to see in Utah, but I'm so close. I just went and talked to the gal. And uh, I'm doing it. She's talked me into it. Um, it we're gonna go to the Albert, consequences or not. <laughs> We've had a little bit of fun, taking a few pictures, and now it's time to make some miles.
I have made the executive decision to get a hotel here in Elko because as you can probably tell, the sun is going down and I don't really want to go up a canyon in the dark and try to find a place to camp, especially not knowing if there's going to be a place for me to camp or not. So I'm taking the easy way out. Thankfully, hotels here in Nevada, much cheaper than they are in Oregon and Montana and Idaho. <laughs> and uh, it's not too shabby for 67 bucks, you know, 62 bucks. 6270. I think that'll, yes. <sighs> I'm gonna make myself some dinner. Enjoy having the luxuriousness of not having to make my own bed. Uh, charge some stuff. Hopefully take advantage of not having to take down a tent tomorrow to get out of here fairly early so that I can still go see Lamoille Canyon. Lamoille, Lamoille Canyon? Lamoille Canyon, I can't say it. Go see the canyon that I was supposed to camp out tonight. And then uh, make my way to St. George, Utah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is 8 a.m. Everything is on the bike. I think this is the earliest I've ever gotten out of a hotel room before. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should amend that. I think this is the earliest I have gotten out of a hotel by myself when there's not somebody else waiting on me. But first, I'm gonna try and get every last bit of life left out of my chain. <laughs> I would learn a little bit later that I actually had two links that were frozen, and I addressed that later, but this is your little reminder to do your chain maintenance, lube your chain, check that the tension is correct, all of those things. Okay? Okay. Not something that I expected to find in Nevada. Holy biscuits! I do, do want to say how cold it is right now. I was regretting very momentarily uh, not just sticking it out and coming up and camping up here so I could watch the sunrise here, but Holy Jeebus, it is frigid, and I'm going 35. It is gorgeous, zero regrets. <laughs> Literally, no regrets to getting the hotel room and being toasty warm last night, and uh, no regrets for taking the detour to come up here, even though it is c -c -c cold. Oh, look, a friend. See that? I just rolled over 40,000 miles. Wow. <laughs> All mine. Briarios is a trooper. I, wow. I can't, wow. <laughs> Five years ago, I rolled over 40,000 miles on Lazarus, my 1980 Suzuki GSA 50. And obviously, not all those were mine. I definitely had at least 8,000, if not 10. Rolling over 40,000 miles and they're all mine on a bike that I have had from brand new. <sighs> crazy, 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 crazy. I love you, baby. In Nevada, of course it was in Nevada. I just had some lovely food at Bella's restaurant. Some biscuits and gravy. Fueled up. And now we're back on the road.
just stopped at this rest area to give my wrist a break. I don't think I've ever boiled water on somebody's porch before. <laughs> Thank you to Will to Vegan for feeding me yet again. You probably didn't even know that I would be eating the food that you sent me for months, literally. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that is enough for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed our little adventure through Nevada and finding hidden gems that I had no idea were there. <laughs> Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. And a huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. I could not be here, be doing this without you, or from the generous help from sponsors like Onyx Off-Road. In the meantime, guys, question for my end screen. Have you ever stumbled across some hidden gems in a state that made you think about it differently? Or at least for a couple minutes? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next week.